Now to decision 2024, less than a month to go until Election Day and just days until early voting opens. Candidates are in their final pushes, and that includes North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein, who was in Matthews today. WCNC Charlotte's Julie Kay spoke with him about his campaign for governor and response to Helene. Dozens of voters came out to hear from Attorney General Josh Stein, and the message they heard over and over again was break the supermajority. He was joined by Senate candidate Woodson Bradley and House candidate Nicole Sidman, all of them really hitting on reproductive rights. Stein also pushing for better teacher pay and public safety. But the whole event underscored by the devastation in Western North Carolina. Home to good people, and all you have to do is go to Western North Carolina to see the absolute best. Folks coming together, North Carolinians are first in line to help other North Carolinians who are struggling. And I got a chance to talk with Stein afterwards about his response to Helene in his current role as attorney general. He's really focused on price gouging. Well, I went to a hotel in Black Mountain where they stopped operating as a hotel and created a feeding center for the local members of their community. So incredible stories like that. But there are always going to be a few people who try to exploit people's desperation to make a quick buck. That's why we have an anti-price gouging law. That's why I aggressively enforce it. But of course, the main message of all this was getting out to vote, especially as early voting in North Carolina starts on Thursday. In Matthews, Julie Kay, WCNC Charlotte.